speaker and amp. A couple notes make their way towards the blue speaker. One bounces off to the side. We enter driver control with a uh, score of 36 to 14 on the board in favor of blue. But that can quickly change as notes make their way towards the red alliance speaker and amp or for the blue alliance speaker and amp. That blue speaker now amplified each note in that opening earns five points when scored for a couple more seconds. Lots of robot traffic here and collisions to the back side of the field. Referees taking a look at that. At the Blue Alliance side, one note makes its way into the amp and that is good from 2811. That's the Stormbots out of Vancouver. Plenty of notes making their way into the Blue Alliance amp. They do amplify that speaker once again and more notes make their way in. They have now a solid lead, 78 to 23. Now make that 83 as two more notes get counted in that amplified speaker. Five points each makes 10 points in that transaction, and they do successfully uh, complete that 18 point ranking bonus, ranking point bonus threshold. One minute left on the clock as robots continue to navigate around the field looking for notes to score. Two Blue Alliance robots at the red side of the field picking up notes. They're making their way back from that Blue Alliance source. Both of those notes seem to have slid out onto the subwoofer, so they'll have to, have to reset and pick those up again. Another note makes its way to the Blue Alliance amp. One more point. Solidly in the triple digits as we approach 30 seconds left here for our Blue Alliance. Red Alliance still trying to catch up, though. Plenty of time to score additional notes in the speaker and amp, and plenty of time to get ready for endgame as we hear that guitar riff. One Red Alliance robot lined up stage right, a second looking to join potentially for a harmony. 2811 up on stage right for the Blue Alliance with a note in the trap. Excellent for them, and Spotlets with a high note from their human player. Excellent work to their alliance. And with an exciting endgame, our referees have their work for a cutout for them as they validate our scores. Score is now certified by a referees for match number 78. So let's take a look at those. Blue Alliance does take the win. 140 to 56. And all four ranking points going to each of your Blue Alliance teams for the win, melody, and ensemble. You saw that excellent work there in the end game. All for your Blue Alliance teams moving up in the rankings. Brett, what'd you notice there in that last match? Austin, an outstanding showing. You see the ranks of those three Blue Alliance teams after the end of that match. Clearly, they were all set up and prepared for uh, an outstanding work. 140, I think not quite our high score for the event, but pretty darn close. What I do think we might have had here, and let me see if I can get this up to highlight, I think we might have had the highest endgame score of the event, 19 endgame points on that Blue Alliance's side. Now, some of that's luck, some of that's skill,
That is the first time I think I've seen three spotlit robots as we had two high notes end up on the microphones for that Blue Alliance and all three robots on stage. We also saw tremendous coordination. You maybe couldn't see it out in the stands. We have a great view of the Blue Alliance station here and the coordination and communication among the three teams as the match was going on. They were truly playing as an alliance not just as three teams. And I think that not only is what led them to the victory on that, but that's the sort of thing that our teams are looking for as they start thinking about scouting for alliance selection in our playoff matches tomorrow. Absolutely. Let's see if we have any more exciting matches back at the field. All right, thanks, Austin. Let's get ready to meet your teams. On the red side of the field, make some noise for 44.